All right, so we just arrived at our hotel room in Kotao, and we're really happy so far. It's really nice. There's a lot of storage space here. We have a nice mirror here. We have a little fridge. I mean, we're never gonna use that TV. There's air con, and then we have this nice, beautiful big bed and a private bathroom that we haven't checked yet. Very nice. That's it. And this is the most expensive hotel room we've ever had this entire trip. Yeah, like in the entire seven months. This costs 34 Canadian dollars a night. So I mean, it's not like that's it's not very like expensive. In, in Busan? Like oh, for the Airbnb? Yeah. Maybe. So, I mean, for $34, it's obviously, like, really good. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. We got, and we got a couch serving host for Bangkok. Woohoo! Yeah, so, that's, that's good. Shanghai. Yeah. Okay. Ciao, ciao. All right, we found the bottle up. We're going to try this again. So we have Leo beer here. We both have had it before, once, and we didn't care for it. So let's try it again. Smell, pissy lemon. Yeah, pissy lemon stale. A little citric, a little acidic, watery, metallic. Like a fruity no type beer. That gets like a 1.5 out of 5 for me. I see people drinking this and I'm like, why would you choose choose this over Chang or Singa? <laughs> yeah. I guess they like the watery they like the beer. Jaguar on it. All right, now we have okay. you. I don't know what's it. What's this called? You beer. This is it. You. Lager beer. You. It smells kind of. It smells malty to me. Yeah, I agree. Does it have a lot of smell? Kind of like salt water, like sea water. Yeah, it's light, nice, light. I give it a three. Nothing special. Um. To me, at least. Yeah, there are definitely like light fruit flavors, like light berry notes. Like you say, strawberry, maybe some blackberry. Well, let me change. 3.5. It's fine. Like there it. is a bit of metallic flavor, like there is. Okay, aftertaste, aftertaste. metallic. Alright. I don't really like it. I'm gonna give it a 2. Okay, aftertaste. It really does, like there's a really metallic aftertaste. I don't like it. I think it's fine. You no, know, like, would I get this again? No, like, if I have to choose between the four, Singa, Chang, Yu Beer, and Leo, I would definitely choose Chang or Singa. Alright, so I am trying the Chang here. I really, really like it. It's super light, bright, fresh. Definitely lemon notes. There's no carbonation. I'm actually having kind of a hard time describing the flavors. Like, I honestly think I give this beer, like, thinking I kind of want to give it a 4, but I think I'm going to go with a 3.5. Maybe if I have it more, I'll like it more, but I, so far, I really, really like it. I know it's just like a commercial beer, but I really like it. It's like San Miguel. I really like San Miguel beer. Okay, aftertaste and mouthfeel? Mouthfeel is like, Watery, smooth aftertaste. A little sour. It's pissing metallic and stale. It's like the same as, as the other tigers. Now, the flavors. It's a bit lemony, it's a little sour, a little salty. It's very fresh, very smooth. Its mouth feels a little bit powdery and foamy. Aftertaste is a 
little bitter, it's a little astringent on the mouth. And yeah, got any flavors? It's just a little lemony. It's also a little malty. It's well balanced, you know, I like it. Definitely give it a, a 3.5 and a 4. Alright, so we already have some other tasting notes on Singa, and I really like Singa. I think I gave it a 4 last time we did it. Um, it's actually quite malty, and I can see, like, I can understand if people don't like it, but I do. Um, yeah, have any again. I think I'll demote it to a 3.5. I don't know, maybe you're right, it's because we're having it a little warm, like I'm not having an ice, ice cold. Maybe. Like Carl's having the Chang right now, and he's like, oh, like I, he's not sure about it. Yeah, and the Chang I like loved, I was like giving it a four, but maybe just totally. like the colder the better, right? Mm -hmm. But I do like this one, so I'm, it just there's like a 3.5 four for me. All right, so we came to the same restaurant for breakfast that we ate at last night for supper. And we're just like so amazed at the price and the quality, but comparing it to breakfast prices because here in Thailand, breakfast, like if you want, I don't know, like a Western style breakfast, or even like it's a Chinese style breakfast, it's so, it's so expensive. Like, like around 150, 15,000 pesos, which is like mm, $12. No. No, like no, no, no. Six or seven. Yeah. 100 baht is four Canadian dollars. Six dollars, so like six dollars Canadian. And so we got some Thai food. We didn't get a regular break, so I got an omelet on rice, which is 60 baht. So it's like two dollars and fifty cents. And Carlos got tom yum soup with noodles and prawns. And this is like 80 or 90 baht. So that's not, it's almost four dollars, not even four dollars. So. We're doing pretty good. Let's see how it is. Estamos aquí en Kotao, en nuestro restaurante favorito. Venimos aquí todos los días. Esa <laughs> sí. es la tercera vez. Yo pedí pollo con curry thai, diez vegetales, pollo y curry. Pedí no picante. Delicioso. Uh -huh. Toda la comida tailandesa. Tiene el sabor de coco, un poco picante, no muy picante y muy fresco. Yo aquí pedí unos fideos asados con mariscos. Aquí tenemos camarones, los fideos, los cerdos, tenemos calamar y dentales. Oh my god. Rico. Delicioso. Muy rico. Muy bien. This is the shark bay. So I like that because it's like no water is supposed to be there. Water is super clear. Alright, let's do it. We had a great, successful a magnificent day snorkeling. We saw one sea turtle, we saw about five sharks. Like, I don't know what kind of sharks they are, but yeah, not, not human eating ones, obviously. A ton of fish. We saw a crab. We saw a bunch of big clams. A bunch of clams, yeah. Uh, and now we're looking at this beautiful view of the ocean. Mm. And I'm hungry. We swam so much today. Like yeah. three hours. It was good. Yeah, it, was nice. it was really good. We have all day tomorrow to go smoking somewhere and then we leave the next day. Yeah, it's been a great day. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we have our pizza. We got half olivo, half italiano. The italiano has tomatoes, pesto, and then mozzarella and tomato sauce, and the olives just has 
olives, black olives. Yeah. So Carlos is gonna try the olive one first. There's a lot of, it looks like there's lots of cheese. We're in Koh Tao in Thailand, by the way. It's good? <clears throat> the olive is just so good. The yeah, olives are so good. Now Sarah's gonna try the tom Italiano pizza. Some tomatoes oh, and pesto, pesto sauce. sauce. The pesto smells so good. The pesto? Yeah, yeah, you I like wish it. the pesto was a bit stronger flavored. Oh. It's good, but I wish it was like more. Packed more of a punch, but it's good. So we're here at the hospital in Koh Tao. Oh, no, oh, no video. We haven't taken a video yet today, and today was like a big day. Yeah. So we were snorkeling <laughs> this morning. We were in the water for about 10 minutes, and then Carlos cut his hand on coral. So we had to get three stitches. Show your hand. We had to get three stitches here. And now it's nighttime. I just finished teaching my classes. We came to get Pad Thai, we have a lemon mint shake here which is delicious, and fish with lime sauce. And then later, I'm gonna get a pancake. And you're gonna get, I don't know, nothing? Ice cream? I think it's something else. Good morning. Oh, video. <laughs> oh, your helmet fell off the bike. Yeah, today. Hot. Hot. Today is hot. We went to the to the hospital, got my hand checked, perfectly fine, seems clean, and now we decided to come to where it all happened. <laughs> yeah, we came back to do more snorkeling here. Yeah, it seems like a really nice place. Yeah, we got a bike for a hundred baht for like five hours, so we're coming back to this beach, and then we're gonna go to a beach called Freedom Beach, and then that's basically, we have to go home, shower to teach, and then we're getting on the night ferry. Yeah. So even though Carlos got stitches yesterday, he didn't want to be left out on our last day of snorkeling. So we it's put a horrible. condom on his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it works. All right, the condom worked. So we're gonna so. peel it off. I hope it worked. Let's take it off and see. You don't have to be gentle with it. How is it dry? It's dry. It's dry. It worked. Woohoo! <laughs> We are here on the rooftop of our hostel. We're gonna, Sarah's gonna teach her class in an hour or so. And in an hour? What time is it? I have no idea. It's 10 after 6 in 20 minutes. 10 after 6? That's so high. <laughs> you have had some issues today. I'm sorry, You're Anna. scatterbrained. I am. I'm very scatterbrained today. I've been kind of useless making mistakes. And it's a view. Hello. Oh. Hi. Hi. It's the last night in Kotao. We're leaving in a couple hours. And we came to a restaurant. We came here like 10 times. I don't know how many times we came here. We've eaten here every single meal except for one. Yeah. Thank you. So the first night we were here, we came here for supper. Next day we came for breakfast and lunch. Yeah, and lunch. Then that night we had pizza at the other place. Yesterday we came here for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. Today we came here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> it's very good. That's why we come here. And it's cheap. It's good like price. the portions are good. The quality is good. And 